Hi, and welcome back to Museum at Home. Now here's a question for you. What things do you like about art? Do you like paintings that are so realistic it's almost like looking at a photograph? Or big, loud, colourful images and patterns? What do you prefer? Well today on Museum at Home we are looking at a style of painting which is definitely the latter. Big, loud and all about feelings. Expressionism. Now we're going to look at a painting by an artist called Paul Klee and we're going to learn a little bit more about his style of painting. So take a look at this painting by Paul Klee. Let's use our key question words to try and uncover some information about the painting. What? What is this painting showing? What shapes can we spot? What patterns? What textures? Who? Who painted it? What can we learn about the painter from this piece of art? Why? Why was it painted? What did the painter want to say? What message? What story? Where? Where was it painted? Where is it meant to show? And how? How was it painted? What kind of paint? What kind of technique? And how thickly is it applied to the paper? All of these are really useful questions that we can ask. So, first of all, let's think about what we can see. What shapes can you spot in this painting? Well, this painting is crammed full of different shapes. They are its building blocks. Can you spot triangles? Can you spot rectangles? Any squares? And how about circles? Yes, all of them can be found in this painting. So what do you think that this scene shows? The title of this painting is The Castle and the Sun. So now all of those squares, those rectangles and triangles make a bit more sense. They are parts of buildings, the castle. But how about colours? What colours can you spot in this painting? Is your favourite colour somewhere in this painting? Well, there are loads of different colours, aren't there? The background is a kind of reddy brown and the geometric shapes, the triangles, the squares, they are all in lots of different colours like green and blue and yellow and purple. That's not the colours that we would expect to find on buildings. Yellow roofs, bright blue bricks, but the artist has chosen these bright, vivid, vibrant colours to build up the scene. So would you say that this painting is realistic, is like a photograph, or not? No, I don't think it is. If you look closely, the shapes look quite uniform, like they're all exactly the same size. And that's not really like most higgledy-piggledy castles. The colours aren't realistic. The background isn't either. This isn't a realistic picture. It's not like looking at a photograph. This style of painting is called expressionism. And that means that the artist, Paul Klee, isn't that interested in showing us exactly what a scene looked like in real life. He's more interested in showing how that scene made him feel and how he responds to it emotionally. So expressionist painters use big colours and big shapes to capture the energy of a scene in front of them. So although the colours and the shapes are exaggerated, are made big and not true to life, they give us an idea of how the painter responded to the scene, how the painter felt when they looked at the scene in front of them. Now look carefully at the colours in the painting. Now Paul Klee, the artist, was obsessed with colour. 
and chose his colours very carefully. He didn't want lots of white space on his painting. He wanted the whole canvas to be filled with colour, bright, bold, vibrant colours. Now Paul Klee believed that just like the shapes in the painting, the colours would affect the balance of the painting and the way that we respond to it, the way that we look at it. Paul Klee believed that colours should complement each other or balance and that some colours like yellow and violet were very very difficult to balance. So he created a colour wheel to help artists to pair colours together and to find colours that would complement each other, colours that would go together. And then in the painting our eyes are drawn into the painting and especially to these pops of colour, the bright yellows that almost jump out of the canvas at us, the blues and the greens as well. So what do we know about the artist of this painting, Paul Klee? Well, he was born in Switzerland in 1879 and throughout his life he saw a world that was quickly changing. He experienced the First World War and the start of the Second World War. He experienced the development of the motor car, the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. It was an age of experimenting. Scientists were experimenting to understand more about sickness and health. New technology was being discovered and created and designed through experimentation and testing. And artists were doing just the same. They were experimenting with shapes, with colours and with styles to respond to this changing world. Now Klee taught at the very famous Bauhaus School of Art and travelled to Tunisia and Egypt to see how light changes the way that we see things in different parts of the world and how light affects colour. And he loved music. He played the violin and he compared the idea of balancing colours in a painting to the idea of harmony in music, of sounds going together. He was a very multi-talented man indeed. And with other artists of his generation, he experimented to create new styles of painting. Expressionism, his style, became a popular artistic style. Artists use it to express emotion, feeling and energy. So what sorts of emotion do you think that Paul Klee was trying to show us in this painting? What do you think? How does the painting make you feel? What do you think that the artist thought was the most important part of the scene he was looking at. Now it's very hard to answer these questions, but spending some time thinking about how we ourselves feel about a painting can help us to understand what the artist was trying to achieve. Perhaps Paul Klee was trying to capture the heat of the scene with the big sun right there high overhead and the yellows, the reds and the browns reminding us of baked earth. Maybe. Perhaps he was trying to emphasise, to highlight the life of the scene. The bright colours making us think of life and celebration and joy. Or perhaps he was more interested in showing the size of the place in front of him. And by repeating those shapes, the squares, the triangles, he gives us an idea of the houses, the buildings and the streets that make up this scene. And you can almost imagine the noise of this big place, this city in front of us, the hustle and bustle of the town streets, the shouting of market traders and the laughter of people gathering in groups around the walls of the castle. So, 
I will end with a question, as I always do when we look at a piece of art, and particularly a piece of modern art. What do you like about this painting? What don't you like? If you can, write down two things that you really like about this painting by Paul Klee, and two things that you would change if you could. And if you have enjoyed this topic of expressionism, then head to the resource pack to have a go at some arty activities. You can find that in the YouTube description underneath this video or by heading to the Museum at Home website. And join me next time as we explore the world of Queen Elizabeth I and Elizabethan England. And because it's nearly the summer holidays, we are going to strip back to one Museum at Home episode per week. And that will be coming to you on a Monday morning. So, see you next Monday for another Museum at Home.